There are two setup modes in Bridge, Basic and Extended. This video will cover the Extended Setup Mode. The Extended Setup Mode is intended to help you get your estimating assembly set up in e takeoff dimension so you can more completely automate the takeoff process. Let's see how this works. We are in Bridge in the manual mode and I'm going to open up the assembly list. This list is coming from the estimating system. And let's say that we are going to want to take off some interior stud wall. So in this case, because I have no uh, traces set up to do a, an interior stud wall the way that the estimating system has set up the assembly, let's use Bridge to help us set that assembly up. So simply click on the assembly and drop it into the measurement type, in this case length, that most uh, appropriately fits the assembly. So we'll drop it on opens the Easy Trace Creation Edit dialog. Name is filled in and uh, we want to check this box. Create extension from assembly. And in this case maybe we want to change the color and we're ready to go. So when I say OK, I'm going to minimize Bridge. Notice what's happened. Bridge has created a complete trace that represents that assembly uh, from the estimating system in your master list, in your library. And this can now be used across all projects from this point forward. So let's do some takeoff with this. We'll double click and let's just do a couple of very quick lines here. Now note in the quantity list what's happened. In this particular measurement we not only have the uh, measurements are the quantities that are generated typically in, in e takeoff dimension, but we also are prompted for the height of the wall, and we're prompted for the layers of rock, and we're prompted for the batting of insulation, bat insulation, and partition uh, wall. And so if I check those, I'm saying yes. Now, note this information is the same information that's asked for in the uh, assembly from the estimating system. So in this case, We'll do the same thing with the second measurement. We'll simply fill in the height of the wall and the number of layers of rock, and we'll say bad insulation required. Now let's bring bridge back up. Let's take the first measurement. And let's drop it onto that wall assembly in estimating. Bridge opens up the assembly information from the estimating system, shows all the variables that are required, as well as the items that will be generated. In this pane, we have the primary takeoff. These are all the variables from the uh, uh, measurement that we just did. So we can now map these variables between the two systems to help automate this process. So we have a length. Let's grab the length and drop it here in the estimating side. Now notice these are color coded. And we also have the length from the takeoff variable noted as uh, paired with the length in the estimating variable. Now we also have a height, so let's teach the system the height. Layers of rock. Yes, we want bad insulation. And yes, let's paint the wall. I've now taught, our bridge has taught the system the relationship between these two objects, between estimating and uh, the takeoff. So at this point I can simply add the pass, which calculates all the quantities, and send it to the estimating system. Now the real power is when we start using this measurement again, because remember this is in your library, it can be used over and over across all estimates. So let's take this measurement, drop it into that same assembly in estimating. Everything is completely filled in for us, all the mappings are done. At this point all I have to do is, my cursor works, calculate the quantities, send it to the estimate. Now, if you have nested variables, uh, you know, based on if conditions, a rather complex assembly, you may have to do some editing afterwards to implement that. However, Bridge is going to transfer all the variables in the assembly, including their default values, their minimum maximum ranges, and even the variable input nodes. So I think you can see that by setting up complete assemblies as traces in e takeoff dimension, you can enter all the assembly variables, the dimension and spec information, while doing takeoff, and completely independent of the estimating system. 
You are then situated to automate the transfer of the completed takeoff to the estimating system with one of the automatic modes in Bridge.